How we all doing today? How we all doing? Wow. It is, let's see, uh, start it, Captain's Log. It's Tuesday, uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock-ish, a little bit later in the afternoon. Just got done mowing actually for the day, which is really cool. Actually, not just yet. I got this patch here that I want to mow and show you guys how to um, not leave divots in the lawn. One question I receive a lot from you guys is, uh, we just did a stripe video, right? How we stripe from tip to tip. And I'll leave a card uh, on this video that you guys can check that out and maybe at the end of well, uh, as well. But another question I get a lot is, hey, how do we not divot out the lawn? And a really simple uh, question, uh, or answer to that question is, we change up our direction uh, every single week. I'd love to know if that's something that you guys do as well. It's kind of best practices when you're um, you know, mowing grass, when you're a lawn care professional. And by the way, guys, I'm learning every single day. I did not know these little tips, these little secrets, these little nuances uh, back when I was getting started 10, 12 years ago. I, I looked left, I looked right, I kind of looked over the shoulder of everybody else, kind of cheated, if you will, because nobody told me any of the answers. And this is just what I realized works best for me, and this is what we've implemented into our business to cut grass and to just make sure that we don't run up a lawn. All right, so let's take you into the jungle. Let's show you guys this grass really quick, and let's see if we can get a little bit of definition on the camera uh, while Rob's finishing up. So you guys can see last week that we mowed the lines east and west. Really simple stuff. Again, we go tip to tip. Uh, really good video we did, so you guys can check that out if you want to learn some other tips. And you can see that we also have them, some diagonal lines going um, the opposite way. So what I like to do is uh, change it up three different directions. East, west, north, south, and then we'll do diagonal. Now, we don't really do four different ways where we go north, south, east, west, diagonal this way. Well, I guess I did once upon a time. You guys can still see some of the lines, so I'm eating my own words here. And then we got diagonals the other way. So <laughs> either which way, uh, that's one thing that you guys can do to not divot up a lawn. Now, uh, a lot of you guys have asked me, what do you do in the backyard when there's just not a lot of room to maneuver or uh, turn around on? What I do is, let's say here's your two lanes, right? You're going through. Try to uh, go in the opposite the following week. If you only have like three passes in a small, tiny backyard, right? Uh, try to do in between the lines from the cut from the week before. That'll help with uh, getting that really wavy uh, kind of divots in the lawn that just make the lawn uneven. Um, you start rutting things up and it's just kind of a pain in the butt and it aesthetically doesn't look very nice. Now, again, just some fun tips. If you guys are appreciating these, shoot a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But again, the, the biggest question that I always get is, how do we not uh, divot out a lawn? Well, we change the direction every single week. And that's a huge thing too, is that when you're uh, playing on the lawn, you're doing an aeration on the lawn, you're cutting the grass the following week, you don't wanna have hopping up and down, right, where you're scalping the lawn. And so this is what I personally found is the best technique to make sure that that doesn't happen. Really simple stuff, right? Actually, um, it's kind of funny. The neighbor house, the next one over, they've got dog poop all over the backyard. A little intermission, they're, uh, they're getting charged a $20 uh, dog poop fee, uh, uh, waste fee, which I've talked about in another video. You can probably leave a card here for that one as well. All the fees that we talk about. Um, once a month, I cut that backyard, and uh, it gets pretty tall as you can imagine, but we don't go back there because they don't pick up the dog poop. Not throwing them under the bus, but hey, we've been charging them for the $20 dog poop fee uh, every month for about three months four months almost, and um, they pay the bill. I mean, it's a charge kind of file, but they haven't complained, and it's really nasty. So if you guys see poop all over my tires, uh, that's it. So anyway, let me start up the mower. Let me show you guys how we uh, cut the front here, how we do it on a different direction, and uh, we'll wrap this one up with uh, just showing you guys some fun mowing footage, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy it, shoot a big thumbs up. And by the way, if you guys have any other tips that you'd love to see on zero turns or mowing or anything that we do, or you have any questions about why we do certain things in the video, I'm here to help you guys out. My channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care landscaping company. So if you got questions, leave some comments down below. Whatever I can do to grab the camera out, help you guys out, that's literally why I do this. And it's a thoroughly good time and I have a blast doing it, all right? So anyway, I got the GoPro ready to rock and roll. Let's go jump on here and uh, mow some grass with you guys.
guys. Well, you guys saw exactly how we do it. It's uh, pretty much no secret here. Like I said, change it up every week. This week we went diagonal. One question I had for you guys, just to kind of wrap this thought out, was um, do you guys roll lawns? That's something that a lot of folks always ask us around here. We get like the little mini um, asphalt um, roller, you know, the little guys that, I don't know, maybe 36 inches wide. Do you guys do a lot of lawn rolling? Um, I get a lot of questions for that. I never really have it, uh, explored it or anything like that. I'm sure it can be pretty profitable service, but it does make sense, especially when you have a lot of new construction homes where the ground's completely um, unlevel or not very level. So anyway, let me know down below. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you guys do uh, lawn rolling, if that's something you guys have ever got into. Uh, I personally have it. I don't think I will. Just too many moving plates, right? But too many spinning plates. But anyway, that's over now, uh, over now guys. If you enjoyed it, shoot a big thumbs up. Guys, we'll catch you on the next video.